down giving. Great really because uh, you're riding around these places and you haven't got a clue where you are. If anybody asked me where I was now I couldn't say. But uh, the human sat nav in front or our tour guide we called him now. Rob, the tour guide, knows where he is, thank goodness. Beautiful places. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That's impressive. Very impressive. Yeah, yeah. Probably a lot of rich landowners at the time were building them, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there you go. First glance of the cathedral. That house there is Oliver Cromwell's house where he was brought up as a kid. I can't show you much. There's the cathedral. There you go. Don't know if we're going to get a better look. Oh, gonna run right past it. Hang on. There you go. Oh my god, I can't lift my head up. No. That is Ely Cathedral. Still open. <laughs> Ely by the river. See all the canal canal boats, people live in them. So what's the river called then Rob? Oh this is the Great Ouse. The Great Ouse River. Lovely place, there's no doubt about it. I should imagine in the summer it would be quite busy down here, but at the moment it's not. People who don't know what these canal boats are, who are abroad or whatever, uh, years ago they were all open and they'd have a little bit at the back where you used to live and they used to ply all the uh, all the stuff uh, well from produce to coal to wood to everything and they would uh, play them ply them down the canals um, because canals in them days there was no motorways or roads as such so they were the motorways of Britain really these canals and uh, they used them and they built them all over Britain and uh, that was people's jobs. Then the railway came along and uh, that was the end of the canals. So people now have converted them into 
uh, living somewhere to live and people live in them and just go up and down the canals so there you go the great news right we're now off to Littleport to see the uh, Harley Davidson Memorial hmm. You can see with this place is very historic, very. Port Harley 203 William Harley, Harley whose son William Harley Co founded the Harley Davidson Motor Company there you go alright so why is this here then? Because that's, that's an American bike. It's an American bike. But it's because of William Harley, yeah. senior, was born in Littleport. Oh, right. He was born in Littleport, so... So you're saying the founder of Harley Davis was born here? His father was. His father was. Yeah. Okay, his father. Oh, Aaron's having a go, look. I bet you feel comfortable on that, son. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> All right. Yeah. There you go. Eighteen fifty-nine. Okay. What to America? And his son founded Harley Davidson. So. All right. So if it wasn't for his dad moving from here. Harley Davidson would probably never have happened. Well, that would have been British. Yeah, it could have possibly been British, Harley Davidson. Think about that one. That could have done, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. So, you Harley boys in America and all over the world, this is where it all started with his dad. <laughs> Well, I never. Yeah, I've never. This is, you know, I've never seen this. I didn't know this. And I bet you, a lot of people in America don't know this either. No, I bet they don't. No. I bet they don't. No. I bet they don't know the origins of the thing. Because no. it wasn't. Got the similar sort of thing over there yeah. The yeah. Side of the yeah. The and look, they're ringing the bells yeah. for Harley Davidson. Yeah. There you go, ringing the bells for Harley Davidson. <laughs> well, there you go, that's the Harley Davidson Memorial. William Harley, his son, went on to founder, or co founder, the Harley Davidson in America. So, there you are, my American friends all started here in this little place by this beautiful old church <laughs> right we're back at Walker's that's the end of our day Well, we started at uh, Walkers and we finished at Walkers. Yeah. 
Had a bloody good day. Thanks to Rob. Tackless dribs. So all I can say to you now is ride safe, love each other, Suffolk Andy! <laughs>